everyone welcome to my channel odia engineer and today we are going to discuss another topic that is on hana backup and i will be just showing you quickly how to take a complete data backup in your hana database using the hana studio you can also take the backup using hana cockpit and so that is also possible in case you have any third party configuration for back int that is also possible so but today we have the topic for the hana backup using your hana studio itself so if you just want to take a backup in hana studio so always go to the system database and in the system database you can take the backup for both system database and the tenant database so just go here just right click on the system database and just go here to the backup and recovery and you can click on the backup sy backup system database and backup tenant database so if i will take you to the backup system database you just need to go here and this is the backup uh, location where the backup destination would be and uh, in general it is inside the user as a psid hana database instance inside the backup folder for the data backup it will be part of your data backup uh, okay because we are taking the data backup and in terms of you have the log backups also so those will be also using the same only the thing would be the log backup folder will be changing here and you can specify any backup prefix you have and remember we are taking the destination is the file system so you are taking the local file system in a backup i mean in terms and uh, the backup is going to store in the file system not in the not through the back int this will be for the third party if you want to store the backup somewhere else so now just click on the next and these are the information so the definition of the backup and what kind of backup you want to take complete data backup and other backups just click on the finish so primarily <coughs> your uh, system database you know primarily having only one services which persist to that uh, you know like your persist in the data folder so that's the reason your name server will be having the only entries and you will see all the entries for the name server saves in backed up and those are already stored in the backup folder so now we'll go to the tenant database and uh, you know we'll trigger the backup for your tenant database so go to the backup and recovery and go to the backup tenant database and here you need to specify which tenant you are suppose you have multiple tenants you need to select whichever tenant is applicable so just go there and select which kind of backup you want to take if you want to take complete data backup or differential backup or you know incremental backup whatever the backup you want to take but <coughs> and you uh, the destination type is your file level backup or you are taking the back int using so that you need to specify and the backup destination I have gone with the standard uh, structure what HANA is having so I am not changing the backup destination location anywhere and the backup prefix also I am using the same thing so it, it will be you know useful for me to identify so we will go to the next and then we will be finish it and you can see <coughs> the backup will be starting for the index server and the first thing will be all the index server information will be you know like backed up which is part of your persistence and also the access engine information and the whatever the data is in the access engine so all these things will be persisted and all these things will be backed up and it will be backed up inside the HANA data volume I mean your USR as a PSID inside the backup if you go to the data folder you will be seeing all this information so I'll just quickly show you where to check if you are okay here so we have taken the backup using the HANA studio so we'll be just going to the will be just going to the HANA so I will be going here CD USR SAP RSID and I will go to the HANA database instance number so my instance is 00, zero so I will be going here and from there you can check so here you will be seeing you have a <coughs> backup folder so inside the backup you have system DB backup in will be stored in the system DB so if you go inside the data okay so the system DB whatever the backup you have taken for the system database this will be stored here for the tenant database it will be stored here so just go into the tenant database here and you will be seeing these are backed up already and the backup time is now the time is 316 so we have taken just now so that's how you take the complete backup and validate and also ensure that you do the backup consistency check before you go for the recovery okay thank you so thank you so much for watching the video and I hope you like it and in future we will be coming with many more contents and keep subscribing on the channel.